Hi everybody, VST here. Welcome back to VST Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to check the unmodified status of your Android device using the Play Integrity API. All right. But first things first, why is this important? And then of course, second, how can we do this? But hey, what about subscribing to my channel if you're here for the first time and you want to get videos like this? And don't forget to also use that bell icon to get notified every time I do upload a new video, guys. So, Nicolas Spiridakis is an XDA senior developer and he created the Play Integrity API checker to determine the device integrity status as reported by Google Play services, all right? So, I'm going to skip this whole information here, guys, and directly share the application. And while I'm doing this test on my Z Flip 4 phone, which is not modified, we are going to also explain and understand why that's important. The application is called Integrity Checker. You will find the link down below into the video description. It has a very, I would say, straightforward, intuitive interface. The developer wanted to really keep it short and simple kiss, as we can also read from that XDA article. It has these three question marks, meets device integrity, meets basic integrity, and meet strong integrity. So I will hit now the check button, guys. I'll cross my fingers to get everything checked. I really hope so, boom. Not a problem at all, 100% green. It's very important and I'm going to explain to you why. So let me click here, guys, and then you can just see we have two options. Learn what the results mean and about. One more time about, made by Nicolas Spiridakis. So go download this application and now it's time to understand what those results mean. There's gonna be a lot of technical talk, but I'm just gonna try to simplify it. So by default, the device recognition verdict can have one of these following labels. So remember the first one meets device integrity. This means that the app is running on an Android device powered by Google Play services. The device passes the system integrity checks and meets Android compatibility requirements. If you get a blank value, it means that a system compromise is being rooted or the app is not running on a physical device. So if you, let's say, are buying a second-hand phone or somebody you know, mess with your phone, that's a very nice way for you to check if the phone has not been tampered. Let's continue with the second option, okay? The second option that we have here, it meets device integrity, which means that the app is running on a device that passes the basic system integrity checks. So the device may not meet Android compatibility requirements and may not be approved to run Google Play services. And now that's very important, for example, your device may be running an recognized version of Android may have an unlock bootloader or may not have been certified by the manufacturer and you know guys when you go inside the Google Play let me share guys so let me just open my Play Store if you go inside the settings guys and you click on the settings scroll down and press about you're gonna see something called Play Protect Certification device is certified, okay? And this Play Protect Certification status is important. Devices that are Play Protect certified means include proprietary apps under license from Google and have passed the Android compatibility testing. Sometimes if you're using some new ROMs, you know, with unlocked bootloaders, you might have problems with this. And of course, this will mean that somebody really tampered with your phone. Now let's check the third option, the meets strong integrity. So again, learn what the results mean. We're gonna scroll down. I think we found it, meet strong integrity. The app is running on an Android device powered by Google Play services and has a strong guarantee of system integrity, such as a hardware back proof of boot integrity. The device passes system integrity checks and meets Android compatibility requirements. And this is really very important. Most of these devices, like for example, the Samsung one, they have NOx a system, you know, for security and etc. So if somebody really tried to mess up with your device, somehow tempered your device, but then installed, you know, back um, stock original firmware, probably, right, leaving the boot locker unlocked, which could be the case with the Xiaomi phones. Still, you can use this too and hopefully get these checks. So guys, this is why it's really important to have a device that is really certified. And if you want to learn more about Play Protect certification, you can visit this link here, guys. Devices that aren't Play Protect certified may not be secure, may not get Android system updates, right? Which means that if you have a phone with an unlocked bootloader, you will probably not get the OTA or over the air updates. It also means that devices that aren't Play Protect certified aren't licensed and may not have real Google Apps. And this also means that, for example, if you want to watch Netflix, for example, it could have problem with the Wide Wind L1 and etc. Apps and features on devices aren't Play Protect may not work correctly. Like somebody, for example, change the applications, install some modified apps, 
and etc. From those of you that are interested into safety net, you should note that the safety net results are pretty much mapped straightforward to the Play Integrity API, which means that if you get MIT's basic integrity, properly this is equivalent to the basic integrity you're getting from safety net and of course it goes on so there is also another application that you can use it's called yasnak i'm going to put the link down below yet another safety net of the station checker if you run those checks you are also going to get these results basic integrity pass CTS profile match pass and evaluation type is hardware backed. You can see, of course, the model name, the Android version, the security patch level and the Google Play services. And all of those things, guys, these checks are important. Again, if you're buying a second hand device or let's say if you left your device with some people that you don't really trust or for repair, etc. So just making this video to let you know that these tools exist. All right. Download them. Use them freely, guys. And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe for the channel. Please, you and your family stay safe until we meet one more time. VST, over and bye.